the Christian message is the ultimate embodiment of self-sacrifice, that all of a sudden clicks with people. Jesus is not some God who tells you, jump through these hoops in order to make me happy when you're dead. That is not the gospel message. The gospel message is that God who loved us from before the creation of this world saw that we would destroy ourselves. And so he allowed himself to be destroyed at our hands for our sake, self-sacrifice, so that we could be with him. So that we could live in eternal bliss forever, glorifying God. He would rescue us though we spat in his face. He gave us hands to work with and we used them to sin against him. He gave us feet to walk on and we used them to walk away from him. And instead of taking those things back, he gave us his son. What kind of beauty is ready to be found there? Unbelievable. You know, growing up as a Muslim, no one ever told me these things. Okay, I was taught to follow the Sharia. I was taught that if I do good things, God will love me. The Quran says very clearly, God does not love the unrighteous. If I do bad things, God will not love me. Now, if someone said to me, Nabil, understand God is your father. Now, you tell me for a moment, Nabil, if you sinned against your father here on earth, your human father, would he not love you anyway? Absolutely he would. It wouldn't matter if I became a serial killer, my father would love me. He would disapprove of what I did. He would hope I changed, but he would love me. Now, if someone would have just taken that one step further and said, do you think your father loves more than God? God is a loving father. He loves unconditionally. This message is so beautiful, it resonates with our very core. And even here in Dartmouth, I have a friend who graduated from here in 2005. She said, Nabil, make sure you don't miss the murals uh, in, the, in the basement of Baker Library. And I go down there, the Orozco murals, and I see these, this very vibrant imagery of multiple cultures clashing, ultimately this, this concept of education and of, of meaninglessness in the, in, the, in the face of potential meaning. And you see this and you think, the gospel fits this, the truth answers yet even this. To reign in the beauty that's so naturally expressed in stories and in art, while also making sure we emphasize the truth, that is how we can share our message meaningfully in the public forum. That is how I became convinced of the truth of the gospel. It took four years, and it also took a powerful spiritual act from God, a vision and three dreams, which led me to Christ. But it was only because of all these things that I'm able to say that my life today is more meaningful than it ever would have been otherwise. So I encourage you, as you think about sharing your faith in the public forum, think about both those things, truth and beauty, and present both in the gospel to your friends and to those who so desperately need it. Thank you so much.